Elie Wiesel was once asked, he spoke of a poet who asked, if your house was burning and you could save only one thing, what would it be? Of course, the fire, the poet answers, for without it, life would not be worth living. On this Shabbat, when Torah commands us to kindle the light on the altar that is never to go out, We are reminded that fires can create as they can destroy. Passion can inspire our purpose or consume our very being. Professor Wiesel understands, however, that the fire worth saving is not from a source beyond us, but the sacred spark within us. And this Shabbat prayer moment all depends on our ability to see the light. Yeah, I die, 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 yeah, I die. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. We begin, as always, thematically connected with light. Lisa, Harrison, come on up. On 120 in your prayer books, just reach under the seats if you don't have one, page 120. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, by our lives, give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we, in our own day, be among those who kindle light. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher 
We turn the page as we rise for Kiddush. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Borei peri ha'gafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Asher kiddushanu b'mitzvotov, Heratzavanu v'shabat kocho be'ahava uvratzon hinchilanu zikaron lemase bereishit ki hu yom techila lemikra ekodesh zecher letziat mitzrayim. Ki vanu vacharta, beotanu kitashta, mikohamim, beshabat kochecha, beahava uvrason, hinchaltanu, barochata adonai. Mekadesh HaShabbat Amen L'chaim On page 142 Greeting those Sabbath angels Shalom Aleichem Shalom Aleichem, Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hasharit, Malachi Elyon, Mi Melech, Malachi Hamlachim, Hakadosh, Hakadosh Baruch. Bochem le shalom, malache ha shalom, malache el yon. Mi melech malche ha melachim, ha kadosh baruchu. Shalom alechem. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hasharit, Malachi Elyon, Mi Melech, Malachi Hamlachim, Hakadosh, Hakadosh Baruchu, Baruchuni Shalom, Malachi Hasharit. Malachi el yom, mi melech malachi hamlachim, hakadosh baruchu. Shalom aleichem, shalom aleichem, malachi hasharit, malachi. Mi melech malche hamlachim Hakadosh, Hakadosh baruch hu Zerchem l'shalom, malche ha-shalom Shalom Aleichem, Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hasharit, Malachi Elyon, Mi Melech, Malachi Hamlachim, 
Because of your spiritual, spirited singing, we are ready to greet this. I mean, come on, they can do better. You can't I think. Say that to them. No, I think I can. Don't I'm you challenging agree? them. This is like a throwdown. <laughs> this is a Shabbos <laughs> throwdown, right? Because I, I mean, I'm seeing some people sing. I'm seeing a lot of yawning, right? We, I'm tired too, but you know what? We hear. The mo- we have to embrace the moment. Come on. The Sharkazis came especially for Lachadodi. I happen to know that. <laughs> he, he was thinking. So we have to greet the Sabbath bride. The Sabbath bride doesn't come unless we reach inside, join together. You know what? The Sabbath bride is coming today from the Bahamas. The next piece has a nice light, you need a cocktail in your hand kind of feel. That'll help. But no drinking during the service right now. We're going to go with Lechad on 138, singing verses 1, 2, 5, and 9. Lechad Odi, likrat kala, pene shabbat nekabela. Lechad Odi, likrat kala. Shabbat nekabela Likrat Shabbat lechu venelcha Ki mekor haberacha Merosh mikedem nesucha Kala Pene Shabbat Nekabela Lecha Jodi Likrat Kala Pene Shabbat Nekabela Likrat Shabbat Lechu Venelcha
A tale is told. A tale is told. Of a rabbi who was asked by his students, Master, how should one determine the hour in which night ends and day begins? So one student suggests it's when a person can distinguish between a dog and a sheep from a distance. No, said the rabbi, no. Another student asks, well, is it when one can distinguish a date tree from a fig tree from afar? Not that either, said the teacher. Tell us, how should we know when the night has ended and the new day begun? It is when you look at the face of another and see your sister or brother. Until then, the rabbi added, night prevails. Our aim in prayer, our call to prayer, is to see one another, even if we don't know each other, as somehow a reflection of something we all have inside. We rise on page 146. Together in the bottom of 149. Join me. This is an hour of change. Within it, we stand uncertain on the border of light. Shall we draw back or cross over? Where shall our hearts turn? Shall we draw back, my brother, my sister, or cross over? This is the hour of change, and within it, we stand quietly on the border of light. What lies before us? Shall we draw back, my brother, my sister, or cross over? Baruch ata Adonai, Hamariv Aravim. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael. Shartam 
This excerpt from Amanda Gorman's The Hill We Climb as we make ready on 158 to share in Micha Mocha brings us to that distant shore of freedom only if we understand what leads the way. The poet wrote, when that day comes and we step out of the shade aflame and unafraid, the new dawn blooms as we free it, for there is always light if we are brave enough to see it, if only we are brave enough to be it. an alternate Hashki Benu. And 
and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. We rise for the tefillah on 164. Adonai, sifatai tifta, ufiagid, tehilatecha. Adonai, sifatai tifta, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Velohe Avoteinu Vimoteinu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak Velohe Yaakov Elohe Sarah Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Velohe Leah Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor Vahanora El Elyon Komel Hasadim Tovim Bekone Hakol Bezoher Haste Avot Vimahot Ume Vigula Liv Nevene Hem Leman Shemo Beahava Melechoser Umoshia Umagain Baruch Ata Adonai, Magen Avraham Vezrat Sarah, Ata Gibor Leolam Adonai, Mechaye HaKol Ata Rav Lehoshia, Mashiv HaRuach Umorid HaGashem, Mechalkel Chaim Bechesed, Mechaye HaKol Berachamim Rabim, so make no flim veral fe holim, who matir a surim, who make a ye memunato, lishene a far, me hamoha bal give who wrote, who me do melach, melach me me to mechaye. Umat miach Yeshua, v'neeman ata lehachayot hakol. Baruch ata Adonai, mechaye hakol. Ata kadosh v'shim chakadosh, ukdoshim bechol yom yhalelu chasela. Baruch ata Adonai, ha'el hakadosh. Now is the moment to close your eyes, offer your own prayer, but as you do, feel the love and the light inside. Shalom, Israel,
atahu melech adon lechol hashalom v'tov b'necha levarich et amcho yisrael In the wake of Shalom Rav, with hearts broken, spirits torn, I would share with you Sheila Peltz Weinberg's prayer for peace. Two peoples, one land, three faiths, one root. One earth, one mother, one sky, one beginning, one future, one destiny. One broken heart, one God. We pray to you, grant us a vision of unity. May we see the many in the one, the one in the many. May you, life of all the worlds, source of all difference, help us to see clearly. Guide us gently, firmly toward each other, toward release, towards hope, towards peace. Amen. With so many hearts broken in the land of Israel, among the peoplehood of Israel, among so many people, I'd ask you to rise together as we share in hopes of healing. especially call to mind in hopes of healing Ellen Mazzullo, Nora Gazinski, Rabbi Sarah Friedson, Steve Gutman, Isabel Fenster, Michael Murphy, Joel Brill, Jill Rhodes, Jackie Pearsall, Marilyn Froelich, Frank, Frank Fazolari, Kira Rutman, Jack Blumenfrucht, Susan Frankel, Millie Marmer, June Foreman, Irv Cohen, Kristen Harris, Jeffrey Amder, Gabriel Morse, Barry Fenner, Abby Zatoon, Joanne Tobin, Ian Spear, Ariel Eden, Samuel Phillip, Jody Kahn, Joseph Spinelli, Dan Zimmerman, Andy Rosenthal, Enid Elton, Dick Stone, Paul Wiggins, Stanley Tereski, Marla Wiggins, Pat Ryan, Nancy Hanley, and my uncle Jerry Gallner. And we're here at a name in hopes of healing. Core heart. 
It is child labor, but it's, they're the benot mitzvah on deck. So we have them, all right? And we can, we can ask them to do things like this. Yeah, 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 make people share, make people share, yeah. That's good, go, keep going, Reese, go to the back, go to the back, keep, keep going, keep going. Yeah, go to, see Andy Harrison right there, the one waving, they'll share, these, this kid, that couple, yeah. Here, can you share with your mom? Can you share with them? is that okay? Yeah, yeah. I should have made more, I should have made more. So you, you know that, um, you, have, you have extras? Look at this, she has extras. Anybody need? Who needs, who needs? Over there, over there. Awesome, awesome. Th thank you so much, ladies, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, you know, um, how, like if it's a big name comedian, you know, if Jerry Seinfeld was coming tomorrow, there'd be a warm up act. So basically, I'm Harrison's warm up act. Because um, this is his Koshi, I'm just taking it in a little different direction, but if I have any questions, or if you do, he's ready to do stand-up. Um, this is a great text for many reasons, not the least of which is it helps us understand what the source of God's light is. It repeats a few times, or twice, um, saying, Vaha'esh ala mizbeach tu kadbo, and the fire on the altar shall not go out. All right? So what's that about? And is this whole altar thing obsolete anyway? Because we don't have a, you know, so what do we make of this? We don't have to read all of these, but we're going to read a few of them. You know what I'd love to have? You know, um, Andy Harrison, Adrian Harrison, come on up here. Can you be my readers? Are these mics on? Let's just see if these are on. That way I don't have to read. All right, here we go. Beautiful. Look at that. All right. So um, it begins with, um, with the, uh, uh, the, the Zussia Friedman. Go ahead, a uh, Adrian, read that Zussia Friedman, the first one. To fire on the old, oh, I don't have to read that part. You did that, okay. All right. To cod boa, fire shall be kept burning bow on it. Yet this may also be rendered within him. Hence the verse may be construed to mean that the fire on the altar shall be kept burning within him. Right, and who's him? The Kohen, the priest. So it's all about, if you're a sacred servant, having a fire burning inside. But watch what the Eitz Chaim, which is really Rabbi Harold Kushner, um, he was until he passed away, I think just this past year, really, he was the Rabbi Laureate, Taka. I would, who wouldn't want to be a Rabbi Laureate um, uh, of Temple Israel in Natick, Massachusetts? So watch what Kushner does. Go ahead. Andy, okay. the eighth client. The last Hebrew word can be read within him instead of on it. This prompted the comment that the fire on the altar must be paralleled by a fire in the heart of the officiating priest, whose enthusiasm for the sacred nature of his work must never be lost. The congregation must recognize its responsibility to see the enthusiasm of those who serve it serve is never extinguished. So who keeps the fire lit in the Kohen? The congregation. I love that. All right? So wait, it gets better. Now watch, uh, by the way, I, I totally, I, it, this is not Torah Moshe, because I said, this doesn't sound right. So I went back and checked this afternoon. This should say Hatam Sofer, uh, who is Moshe Sofer uh, from the 18th century. He was the head of the Pressburg Yeshiva. But so read the Torah Moshe. You don't need the other one. Um, the Torah Moshe, Adrian. In every Jew, there flickers a spark of the divine flame that will never go out. But the leader, priest, prophet, or teacher, must feed that little spark with fire. If the priests do this and kindle the spark in every Jewish heart, they can be sure that God's fire on the altar never will go out. So who is it that kindles the fire in the hearts of the people? The priests, the Kohanim. So this is a great covenantal statement, which is a rabbi doesn't have passion. A cantor is not going to have that inner, like, you know, passion unless 
she, he are connected to the people they serve, and vice versa. <coughs> gets better, gets better. Uh, Rabbi Arzriel Fellner, who, when he wrote this, he was the, the president of, of uh, New York Board of Rabbis. Uh, you can each do paragraphs. I'm not going to tell you who. It's up to you. <laughs> you couldn't make the print larger? Okay. It is not written, the fire shall be kept burning on it, Rabbi Pincus declares, but within it. The fire is lit from within. Later interpreters extend the fire to include us, men and women, who, like an altar, carry within a burning passion. But, as Rabbi Levy adds, Levy adds, speaking of the same verse, Olah, offering, is written without a vav. So Olah can be read as Allah to be raised up. The same flame that commits us to service might also lead us to hubris, a self-aggrandizement that turns to narcissism and blind regard. Eventually, Rabbi Levy suggests that person's ambition will go up in smoke an empty gesture on life's altar. Right, so we know, and we all know this, um, think about somebody who has a fire burning inside. Somebody you know, somebody in the public eye, who you think is like such, has such passion. You think about that person. It's real. You can't fake that. I think of sports figures, that's just me. Um, I think of nobody on the Red Sox this year. I'm not gonna go into it, it's very sad. But, <laughs> but, I, I think of also political leaders. Um, some of them are still with us, not many. Um, I'd like more. Um, I think of friends uh, who I've served with and who taught me. Um, I even think of family members. You know when somebody has a fire inside and you know when it's insincere. You know when they try to have the fire, they try to show they're impassioned, and it doesn't work. Um, but here's the great takeaway from uh, Rabbi Fellner. Uh, he quotes Albert Schweitzer. Go ahead, Andy. The great physician and humanitarian and theologian, Albert Schweitzer, points us in another direction. Sometimes the fire within us goes out, either as a result of personal loss or tragedy, depression or life struggle. The flame in our, life, in our lives grows, grows dim. And then someone comes along who rekindles our joy our delight in life. As we are told that in the morning the priest must take the ashes from yesterday and place them carefully outside the camp, the person who rekindles our life may be the one who can take the bitter ashes which broke our spirits and help us place them elsewhere, outside the camp in which we live, freeing us to rejoin family and community. And now the great takeaway, please. For every human being, for every human being, can be compared to an altar of life upon which we sacrifice our days and nights to the best of our aspirations. Thus, we are each living altars who possess the power to reignite one another's lives. We fulfill the commandment and keep the flame of our ancestors alive, not alone when we keep the fire on the altar burning perpetually, but when we realize that the light within us can kindle the soul of another. Thank you, guys. So what, 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 is, what is this uh, such a brilliant and simple, poignant takeaway? We all have moments when the fire is on very low ebb. We all have moments of loss, remembering somebody, and you feel dark. You feel like, how can I go on without that person, without that love? Um, what rekindles the fire? memory, love that doesn't die, usually it's the people around you. Or when life just gets hard and there's too much going on and you're feeling the pressures and you don't feel that spark. You don't, and and what, what rekindles the fire? The attention of a kid, a grandkid, just sitting together with family, a smile you didn't expect, an unconditional act of kindness. I always talk to the guy going into HUC. Um, uh, I don't know his name, I always forget his name. It's really awful. I should be better with names by now. Um, but, I, but I always say hello, and when I came in Thursday, um, he said to me, he, he knows my name by the way, uh, he said, 
He said, hey, Jeff, he said, you know that cup of coffee you offered me last week? I'll take it this week. <laughs> I was so excited, I brought him coffee and two donuts. Because he always says no, and I always offer it to him. But that gave me such joy. For the rest of the day, I was sort of on a high, that I was able to do something for somebody else and bring sweetness, which I couldn't touch. I couldn't go near it. I wish. But, but that, that gave me such, it lit something. It, it sparked something in me. Um, Helen Keller says this. I believe there are angels among us. They come to you and me in our darkest hours to show us how to live, teach us how to give, and to guide us with the light of their love. That's why we're here. The fire on the altar has been transplanted in each of us. And we have the ability to kindle the light in someone else. And when we do, here's the miraculous thing. Our light grows. That's the gift of being created in God's image. It's also the gift of love. So I want to call up two people who have kindled the flame in each other, about to be married. Is it next Saturday night? Is it next Saturday night? Oh, my God. <laughs> James, don't sound so excited, buddy. Oh, my God. Come on up. 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 <laughs> I'm going to open the ark a little bit. You do not have to stand. Are you going to stand right here? Stand right together, right here. Come, come here, come here, come right here. No, 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 right here. Come on, up. Come on. hold these hands, both hands. <laughs> I'm holding both hands, okay? Mi shaberach avotenu, Abraham Yitzchak v'Yaakov v'Imotenu. Sarah v'Karachov le'ah, may the one who blessed our mothers and fathers before us under the canopy of life commitment bless this groom and bride, James and Ava, as they make ready to stand under their chuppah next Saturday night. Holy One of Blessing, guide them in goodness along life's journey so they may walk as they have these past few years as the door opened and their life paths converged, linking their hearts in a timeless love. Maker of matches, help them always to be there for each other. A source of unconditional support, helping one another reach higher, helping them know they are never alone. Let them ever be that wonderful life complement which not alone brings life balance, but makes them both better as a result. As they continue to grow together, may their future unfold with family expanding, a new generation nurtured through the gift of their love. Thus, an affirmation of the ultimate rabbinic sweetness, a kid of this congregation from a treasured LT family, all grown up, having found the gift of a life partner, we pray that your love, Ava and James, will always remain in health and wholeness and with God's blessing, a sacred trust you share, which brings you both boundless joy and fills your hearts every single day. Amen. Amen. Kiss that guy. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Simon Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, for Simon Tov, Simon Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, for Simon Tov, Simon Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, for Simon Tov, yeah, Lanu, yeah, Lanu, yeah, Lanu, for the whole Israel. You know what? And you get candy when you come to temple. There's nothing like it. Tom Zucker Sharp, I got one more blessing. I got, I got another blessing in, right? Um, come on, come on, come on up. Tom Zucker Sharp. Tom, today is the day, right? Is today the day? Come over here. Come up here. Come up here. Stand right here. Give me a hand right here. Give me a hand. Here in the presence of Torah. Mi shaberach avotena arbim yitzak v'yakov v'imotena sarav karachov le'ah. May the one who blessed our mothers and fathers before us bring blessing upon one whose very presence 
continues to bring such blessing to LT as he celebrates 65 years of sacred living this day. As you, Tom, born into temple life, have always made this place your home, sharing with this community your commitment and care, helping it feel like home for all who enter, so may you ever know our appreciation through the care we share with you. As you've embraced Jewish learning, a regular at Hever Torah table, sharing the search for knowledge through your innate curiosity, so may you know as a sacred seeker, you are likewise our teacher. And Tom, making real all it means to live Lidor Vador, your mother's motto, a gift to you and us all. Having raised your family here along with Sue, your life partner for all seasons, nurturing in your kids the Jewish values you both live, so may blessing continue to fill your days and years as in health and wholeness with God's goodness ever guiding, we come together in celebration of all you are and all you do for decades yet to come. Amen. There's no cake. There's no cake. Don't get excited. There's no cake. 586. It's a good page. On page 586, we now rise for Alina. We need, we need our benote mitzvah on deck to come by, uh, on back up. Alenu le shabe achlado on hakol, la take it la leo sereshit, shalo asanu kigo ye haratot, belo samanu, kemish bechot adama, shalo sam helkinu kahem, bego ralenu, echo hamonam, bana. Making ready for Kaddish on page 598, I offer you Rabbi Chaim Stern's beautiful reflection. The light of life is a finite flame. Like the Shabbat candles, life is kindled, it burns, it glows. It's radiant with warmth and beauty, but soon it fades, its substance is consumed, and it is no more. In light we see, in light we are seen. The flames dance, and our life, burned, our life is full, but there is an end to the flames. We see no more and are no more seen. Yet we do not despair, for we are more than a memory slowly fading into the darkness. With our lives, we give life. Something of us can never die. We move in the eternal cycle of life and death, of light and life. We especially call to mind the lights and the love that remains your sites observed this week of Marvin Slavin, Helen Bertman, David Haas, Stanley Levin, Ethel Edelman, Ida Hoffman, David Schwartzman, Hanan Rotem, Leah Schoengood, Harvey Bidner, Pearl Margolin, Marvin Kipnis, Moritz Motzkin, Isidore Capel, J. Kenneth Campbell, Alexander Vig, Sylvia Wolf, Irving Kaler, Stephen Lieber, Fanny Labiner, Lillian Levine, Henry Garris, Eli Ames, Abram Margulis, Judy Miller, Rose Hoffman, Robert Hoffman, Hannah Lichtenstein, Robert Katz, Stephen Breiter, Elizabeth Sharkazy, Max Myers, Layla Charhuji Schenken, Louis Schechter, Gertrude Smith, Anna Simon, Anna Phillip, Simon Klepper, Selma Grant, Harold Spawn. When we hear add a name in remembrance.
To those names we link, those who've left us in the past 30 days, Shaloshim, Howard New, brother of Vita Solomon, Michael Adler, father of Val Leon, and Jonathan, grandfather of two, Dr. Harlan Spitz, father of Rivi, Aaron Lowry, husband of Joanne, father of our member Alicia Rosenbaum, her sister Sharon, and brother Aaron, grandfather of four, Mari Levine, father of Robin Gensberg, and Jill Asrael, grandfather of four, Ira Milstein, father of Liz and, uh, Jane, and, and Jim, grandfather of five, great-grandfather of two, and just this week, just yesterday, Toba Mauskop, mother of Alex, along with Karen, Eugene, along with Lily, grandmother of David, Julie, Alex, Mary, and Michelle, great-grandma of Rafi, Mickey, Nava, Max, Corey, Leo, Serena, Emmy, and Kayla. It's more significant because she survived the Shoah. And of course, to those names we add, Joe Lieberman, Senator Extraordinaire. Along with those whose love lives in our hearts, we join together in words of Kaddish. Yit gadal b'yit kadash me raba be'alma divrach hirute v'yamlich malchute b'chayechon uv'yomechon uv'chayedcho be'it Yisrael ba'agala v'zman kari v'imru amen yehe shme raba mevorach le'olam olam he'olmaya Yit barach v'yit tabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit romam v'yit nase v'yit hadar v'yit alev v'yit halal shmei d'kudsha b'dichu le'ela min kol b'chata v'shirata tush b'chata v'nechamata da'amiran b'alma v'imru amen yehe shlama raba min shamaya v'chayim alenu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen Ose shalom bimromav, hu yase shalom, alenu v'al kol Yisrael bimru. Zichronam livracha, may their memories be our blessing. Amen. Jim, it's all you. Bach shalom. Uh, my name is Jim Cowan. I'm a member of the Temple Board. I'm pleased to welcome everybody here, as well as those who are online tonight. A special thanks to our clergy, Rabbi Serkman and Cantor Orangel and David. Thank you so much for the piano. Um, mazel tov in advance to uh, Harrison and his family for the bar mitzvah tomorrow. We look forward to your leading us and teaching us this week's Parsha, your Devorah Torah discussing the physical flame, the internal flame. It's worth reading online. We have some exciting events coming up at the temple. Tomorrow morning, we have Hevra Torah at 9 a.m., and then Harrison's Mitzvah and the Mitzvah service at 10.30. In two days, it's going to be April. And kicking off the month is a family Shabbat service and dinner on the 5th, a Passover warm-up on the 11th, and a 25 to 35-year member LT journey celebration on the 12th. Please check the details for this and for future events online. Shabbat Shalom. Jim makes everything sound so exciting and joyous. <laughs> like, we're giving away old cheese. It's going to be great. It's, it's Jim, you're, you're wonderful. You really are. You're wonderful. <laughs> we, we rise for our closing song, which is? I have no idea what our closing song is. You'll find out. Shabbat I'm, Shalom and Shabbat Shalom. It's Shabbat Shalom. Okay, we rise. With a little Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.
Shabbat Shalom. Very sweet. You guys are good. You can pick up candy.